The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, John's kidney transplant. Four-year-old John Frias was born with only one kidney. He is now suffering from kidney failure and is being prepared for a kidney transplant. His father, John Sr., will donate the kidney he needs to survive. What else you got in the bag there, John? Doctors have determined that the kidney is a good match, but transplants are not always successful. John and his father could endure painful and life-threatening surgeries only to have the transplant end in rejection. Let's go, buddy. Today, John will have a central line inserted into his chest for the medications he will need to try to prevent his body from rejecting the transplant. I don't want this. Eh? I don't want it. You don't want it? Remember what I said? It's much easier for you. What we're here for? You know what it is. Do you remember what it's called? A central line. A central line. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what we're going to be doing is putting a special type of IV line in that goes into the chest. It actually enters in the neck and it's tunneled through the chest and it goes down into the center of the, the uh, chest area here. The reason that we put these in is for certain things that you're going to be doing, like a transplant, where you need a lot of fluids, a lot of medications. The little peripheral IVs just just don't do it. So we need something that's going to be a little more sturdy. Doesn't even hurt. The other doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Be, no. No. But there's yeah, just easy things. There's no needles or nothing. No. It's so you know easy. It won't, nothing will hurt. But when you come out and you wake up, it may hurt a little bit. If it does, you tell us. Why? The doctors will come and make it feel better. Okay, so we'll go down the hall, and Mom can come in with you. When you're asleep, Mommy will go wait there, okay? Hi, Dr. Mike. Where's Dr. Mike? Yeah. Hey, yes. Mike. Can I get a hug? Hug, Daddy. Hug, Daddy. Hug. All right, just push him out of the way. That's okay. Mommy's, gonna, mommy's right. here with you. Oh, you don't want anything? Oh, that's a cat scan. Rest your head there. And close your eyes when you feel like it, okay? Now I'm going to give this. Okay, well, he's asleep. Thanks for your help. Just hold it up. Just hold it up. That's good. Oh, no. He's straight right now. We used ultrasound to go in at the neck. We made two little incisions. Tunnel the line up and out of the neck. Right now we're just uh, kind of finishing up. We're just uh, making, suturing up the two little incisions that I've made at the neck and the chest.
Okay, I'm gonna take a listen. I'll watch it for your nice new line. I can hear your heart beating. I can hear your lungs working. They're working well. <laughs> They're pretty clear. I like that. I know. You know. How does this feel? Does this hurt? Your new line, yes. does that hurt? It feels okay? We're going to use that? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. How are you guys? Good. Hey, so. you good okay? Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Good. Everything go okay yesterday? Yeah. Yes. What about John? Have you got some questions? Can you tell me what's going to happen tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? It's gonna, the kidney's gonna be caught in my you stomach, can... not dad's. That's right, <laughs> your dad's kidney, right? Your dad's kidney's gonna be here. Where is it gonna be in your body? Where are we gonna find room to put your dad's kidney? Do you remember? Right, right there in your tummy. Mm -hmm. It's too big for me, how can I fit in here? <laughs> you know what, we'll find lots of room in there for it. You're gonna have a long day tomorrow mm -hmm. because you're, are you gonna have anybody else with you? Or? Your, your dad, He's okay. Out first in the morning. Okay, that's good. It's nice just to have at least one other person with yeah. you because we've got two people in surgery. It's kind of hard for you. Okay. So you both go down together, in fact, and, and uh, you'll probably be able to go into the operating room with John okay. um, and uh, you know get him settled there, maybe even right to sleep there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are able to do that, sometimes they aren't. But once they're both asleep, one of the nurses will come out and let you know that. You know, that induction part's over and, and the operation has started. Are they going to check his other kidney to see if it's how damaged it is? Yeah. <clears throat> no, they won't do anything with his other kidneys. They'll just leave it. They'll just leave just everything leave there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But it's better to leave it in because if the kidney doesn't work for any reason, if the transplant kidney doesn't work for any reason, yeah. then he still has his he own kidney at least to do some, some of the work. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Corey had mentioned to me, he says, uh, your son's going to heal a lot quicker than I will. Yeah, for sure. One lane and they're for out. sure. Yeah. They're going to cut some major muscles, it's going to be, yeah. you know, for you. So it's, uh, it's, I mean, even the kids who've had a kidney transplant and the kids who've had a kidney taken out, mm -hmm. the kids will tell you that having the kidney taken out is more painful than having the kidney transplant. Okay. okay, so you're gonna feel really sore tomorrow. Oh, I bet. You are. I bet. Like you're gonna come out and you're gonna think I've never felt like this before. Yeah. You're gonna feel like the stitches are breaking apart. That's what it's gonna feel like exactly. when you first wake up. And you're gonna also feel really shivery and cold and yeah, when you first wake up. So well, that's the normal, that's what to expect. <laughs> Um, you just need to put these two gowns on, just okay. this one uh, ties in the back, and then you can use the other one just like a robe, okay? There you go. Great. You're welcome. Hi, John. We have the same thing. Good morning. Mine is blue. Yeah, good Mine is blue. Are you all set? Yeah. Ready to go? Today. Uh, it's today. Yes. I'm going to get your candy. Which one? The, you know, this one. That one. That's the one. I'm with you. But they were here yesterday. Zero kids. Hey, we're ready. Let's go, buddy. That my work? Hello there. Morning. Morning. This is John. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, 
Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Evans, as Dr. Lewis pointed out, and I'm going to be anesthetising John this morning. Okay. Um, we give him painkillers during the case, and then, and then morphine, uh, and those will be continued afterwards. And those are trying to make sure when he wakes up, he's nice and comfortable. Good. How are you doing? Hi. How's my friend? How are you? Are you in good shape? Actually, I'm going to be partially both of your doctors today. I just want you to put your mind at ease. Yeah, I, have a, I have two whole teams of people, and I'm going to sort of be part of each one. But I want you folks to know that we're, we're, we're not going to abandon you in the middle of it. All right. Okay. Have you got any questions? That, uh, we've been talking about this for a long, long time with your young man. Yeah. Any more questions that you want to ask at the last moment? No, I think we're... And how's my young friend? How are you doing? Good. Y'all, you going to be brave? You told me you were going to be brave last week. So we'll make a deal? Shake my hand? Okay. Off you go. Okay. You're going to be all prepared to try and relax, do your best to relax? I'm trying. Okay, the, uh, uh, the nurses will come and have a chat with each of you. Uh, you're confusing everybody because John and John. <laughs> um, but we'll keep track of everything. Okay, okay we're ready. Nice Hugs and kisses. Okay. Let me start. Let you always start. Come on, bud. You. You'll be strong. You're my daughter. Okay. This is in the clear. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's right. Wait now? Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, Joe. Mom, come over. Let's go, buddy. No. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Well, Thank you. Hey. Go. Nice bear for that. Great, John. Come out. You get your bear. We've always been strong. We've always been strong. So they're just as strong. Come on again. Is just going to inject some stuff into the little end, the end of this, okay? So the needle yeah. is not going anywhere other than there. Does that feel okay going in? Yeah, so far so good. Nice, a bit of a, you might feel a bit of tingle in your hand. Okay, but this is the stuff to send you off to sleep anyway. It's just a sleepy stuff. It is? Okay. Oh yeah, it's working. 
I'm sure it is. Okay. Great stuff, that's doing really well. This must be this must be illegal. Where we're supposed to go. We'll go this way. We'll, we'll go this way. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. And can you tell me the doctor's name, please? Dr. McClory. Dr. McClory. Here we are. Is this for John? John and John. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And your mom? Yes. And who else do we have? It's my here? sister in law. So Aunt. Okay. And then we have. Uh, so John went in just now, I guess, eh? Just a few minutes ago, about 8.15. And the doctors allowed seven hours for the procedure. We have the location of the kidney marked on the x-rays so we know where the arteries are and then we plan the height of the incision um, according to that. I would go right back to there above, above the rib. Uh, just right on the rib, on its upper edge, more to the. I'm going to try and go right through the dermis. Ideally, you know, the manner of wound healing is wonderfully straight, I must say. So, in these operations, we cut through the uh, the muscles in the side of the body, come in three separate layers, going from the rib to the middle of the abdomen and the incision has to go through these muscle layers. Our goal is to safely remove this kidney from the father without injuring anything else. And this is the part of this procedure that is probably the trickiest to do. I set, you can start setting up the perfusion stuff. Okay, set the clock please. Get the uh, large clamp ready for me. Then I'll want the vein clamp ready, large clamp. Uh, vein clamp, pick up. Trying to get that vein loop out of there. I'm now holding kidney, I'm safe to hold kidney. Peek the sucker in there and move that. Good shape, we're in excellent shape. D Martel scissors. Got it, no problem. Coming over to you. I got it. Free my light, please. 
Run the perfusion stuff, please. Okay. We're putting the perfusion materials. Those are three veins. Now cover up some of the kidney. Is it running? Can we get a run? It's not running worth a damn right now. But you'll see the whole kidney is going white. Can you do a call on the flow is not flowing? Could you do a call on the flow when it's Doctors must now clear the kidney of blood before clotting begins. They have only minutes to complete the procedure. Now we're in the vessel. Now we're in the vessel. Now tell me what the flow is doing. If doctors are not successful, John will not get his transplant. And he will lose his best chance for a healthy kidney. Anytime. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, John's kidney transplant continues.